What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how short selling works, how to use it to make money, and especially how to use it in the stock market market watch game. So I made a market watch tutorial a couple months ago, did really well, had a couple thousand views, um, so I'm making a new, uh, more advanced version of that video. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about short selling, pretty much how it works, and just like the basic uh, things behind it. So, you know, when you go to buy a stock, you know, let's say like you go to buy Apple, let's say you buy Apple for $200 each. If you sell Apple um, for let's say $215 each, you know it's simple, you just made 15 bucks. You bought at 200, you sold at 215. You made a $15 profit. However, short selling is a little bit more confusing and, and people, um, it's actually not as confusing as people think. You know, that they see short selling and buy to cover and, and all this stuff. So like for example, if we go over to like Apple stock right now on MarketWatch and we click trade, we're gonna see that you could buy it or you could sell it short. And then eventually you will, you will have to sell it or buy to cover it. So um, short selling, pretty much how it works, is normally when you buy a stock, you buy, then sell. Short selling is the exact opposite. You just sell, then buy. Now, when you buy a stock, you make money if the stock goes up. But if you short sell a stock, you make money if the stock goes down. So buying stocks and then short selling stocks are opposites of each other. So I'm gonna give you guys an example. So let's say you short sold Microsoft for $180 each, and then you bought to cover it for $150 each. You just made a $30 profit. Now, you're probably thinking like, well, how can you sell something that you don't have or, or what what's a buy to cover? So pretty much, um, I'm gonna give you guys an example. So let's say you have a baseball card, right? And, and let's say, you know, let's say this baseball card is worth $200. So let's say, we're, let's say with this example, it's like a buying stock example. You have a baseball card, it's worth $200. So you, you got a baseball card worth $200, right? You bought it for $200. And then let's say the value goes up. You wait a couple months and the value goes up. And now your baseball card is worth $215. And then let's say you sell it. You made $15. Bucks. Now what's short selling is let's say you have a baseball card, right? You you bought it for, uh, let, let's say you just have it. You, you have it for, for $180, right? This is the value right now. You have a baseball card. The value is at $180 each. Now let's say you sell that baseball card to your friend for 180 bucks. You just got 180 bucks. It's not your profit, it's just what you got. And let's say a couple months later, let's say the value of that baseball card drops. Like let's say um, it, it now, you know, a couple months later, um, the value of that baseball card that you sold to your friend is worth 150 bucks. And then let's say you buy it back from him, right? You just made $30. Look at you sold it to your friend for 180. And then the value dropped a couple months later and then you bought it back for 150. You sold it for 180, you bought it back for 150. You just made 30 bucks. All right, so um, that should clear things up, but like let's say like with the I'm going to show you more like of a stock example. So head over to finviz.com. I showed you guys this resource in the last video, how I find you know good stocks to buy. I trade the stock and options market every single day. So personally, uh, what I like to do in, in for the stock market watch game, uh, here's a pretty simple strategy if you want to short sell. Remember, if you think a stock's gonna go up, you buy it. If you think a stock's gonna go down, you short sell it. So personally, I like to filter out, I like to go to finviz.com, go to the screener, click country, USA. And then once that is clicked, I like to go to the price. I would go over $10 about, um, that would be pretty good. And then also, like if you're trying to short sell stocks, obviously you want the stock to fall. So, you know, you probably don't wanna buy a stock that's up, or you don't wanna short sell a stock that's up 10%, like AAWW, because it's, it's going up. But what you can do is you go to signal at the top and click new low. Now what you're gonna see is you're gonna see only stocks that are you know falling, that are hitting new lows. So like for example, all these stocks are already falling. Like think of all these stocks as baseball cards, right? All their value is just declining and declining and declining. These would be potentially good short sell candidates. 
Of course, you know, of course, do the research on your own. But let's say like MOV, for example, it's down 2%. So if we go to MOV, it's look how much it's falling. You know, a couple months ago, it was at $26. Right now it's at sixteen dollars. That's a great, it's a great play. So that's how you do it. Let's say you want to short like MOV, right? I'll show you how to do it on Market Watch. So right now the market's closed, so it's not going to be the same. You know, the order's not going to go through. But you just type in the ticker symbol MOV, click trade, and then wait for this to load. Now we see MOV, and we can do sell short, and I can sell short however many shares I want. You know, right now it's at sixteen bucks. I can short sell. You know, let's say I short sold like, um, you know, uh, a thousand of them, right? I would be short sixteen thousand dollars worth of MOV and just submit the order. So it's that simple. So I hope this video, you know, clears some things up. Uh, short selling can seem very complicated, but really it's not. Remember, if you think a stock's gonna go up, you buy it. If you think a stock's gonna go down, you short sell it. When you buy a stock to exit out of your position, you have to sell it. When you short sell a stock to exit your position, you have to buy to cover it. All right, so it's 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 really it's really it. You know, um, I hope this video you know simple enough for everyone to understand. Um, if you are confused on short selling, like maybe rewatch the video. Think of it like a baseball card. You know, um, like let's say short selling. One more recap. Let's say you have a baseball card, right, and it's worth one hundred eighty dollars. You sell it to your friend for one hundred eighty. A couple months later, now it's only worth one fifty, and then you buy it back from your friend for one fifty. You just made thirty bucks. You sold it for one eighty, and you bought it for one fifty. It's pretty simple. Like I said, you know, if you guys are confused or anything, you are more than welcome to answer or ask questions in the comments down below. I answer every single question. Um, I trade the stock and options market every day, so I'd be more than happy to answer your guys' questions. I also made another tutorial market watch video, which I will put in the description down below. But once again, if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.